Schwab's Super Bowl kickoff show. There comes the defining moment in the life of a nation that cries out for support. With hope towards tomorrow, it is our traditions and values that are the flames that will burn forever in this nation's soul. Americans have answered back, showing unwavering courage, character, and an indomitable spirit. But there are times we can still look to the past to point us in the present direction, to stir our soul. John F. Kennedy once said, a nation reveals itself not only by the man it produces, but also by the man it honors and the man it remembers. We admire the man who embodies victorious effort. It is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. This great nation will endure as it has endured. We'll revive and we'll prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I believe that man stands on the eve of his greatest day. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Today we celebrate so much more than football, we celebrate freedom as well. The freedom to honor men whose contributions may be on a playing field, but whose happiness lies in the thrill of effort and the joy of achievement. Super Bowl Sunday has evolved from a game into one of the greatest spectacles in the world. At the end of the day, there'll be a winner and a loser. But lives will change forever because they are part of something great. And greatness, no matter how instantly obtained, will stay with them forever. Much like the indelible spirit of Americans everywhere. <laughs> Super Bowls we've been together and it's been such a pleasure and a joy and and you wonder if the intensity the passion the feeling can get bigger than the last one and it does I mean I think that I've never felt as high for a Super Bowl <laughs> as I feel right now and I know the teams feel the same way I mean they're in there there's 31 teams and they go to training camp to get to the Super Bowl to get here the Patriots and the Rams at the end of the day in about five hours there's going to be one team the champion and I'll tell you from having been there I know that the difference between winning a Super Bowl and losing a Super Bowl I think is the biggest gap in sports we had a chance to go inside the Ram locker room there was music there was prayer there was laughter. We will return to New Orleans in Super Bowl 36 with team player introductions. Troy, I know you got out for a reason. You're worried about getting hurt. But it's a year later. I really think it's time. If you don't get back in, you're going to regret it. Remember what I told you. Think mutual funds. Stay diversified. Any tax implications? Wouldn't it be great if the person you trust most was your broker? Is there a health care fund that looks attractive? At Schwab, our mutual fund advice is always objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. Call 1-800-4-NOLO to find out which fund is right for you. Hi. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Sure. It's time for the Team Dodge Sales Event, where the entire bold and powerful Dodge lineup comes with our powertrain pledge. Seven years or 100,000 miles of engine and transmission protection that you won't get from Ford, GM, or Toyota. Plus, you'll grab a huge cash allowance of up to $2,500. Great products, great protection, great values. That's the Dodge Edge. Hurry, because during the Team Dodge Sales Event, everything's moving fast. Don't be afraid of your freedom!
Television. That's because they voted 24 the best show of all. Golden Globe winner Keeper Sutherland stars in 24. An all new episode every Tuesday on Fox. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 36. the National Football Conference champion, the St. Louis Rams. Let's meet the Rams offensive starter. State number 62, Adam Timmerman. At right tackle from Kansas, number 60, Rod Jones. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got, you got 
Mike. You got Mike on me. Hey, baby, Show me that Mike. Mike Marks, of course, the head coach of the St. Louis Rams and the New, New England Patriots just filing into the tunnel to be recognized and introduced as Super Bowl 36 has started to build. It started a long time ago. And now we're heading into the climax in New Orleans. The ninth Super Bowl to be played in New Orleans. And it has been a wonderful host city. And the crowd was entertained with a spectacular pregame show. and gentlemen choosing to be introduced as a team here are the American Football Conference champions the New England Patriots rather unique in that one team would be introduced their starting offensive lineup for the Rams but the Patriots as Bill Belichick had said during the week, uh, teamwork is the most important factor in us staying in this game and winning this game. And they were introduced in that fashion. We'll be back to the Superdome with the singing of our national anthem by Mariah Carey and the Boston Pops. The robbery was perfect. But the real crime... Twenty million dollars worth of diamonds missing. ...was putting them on the case. Uh-oh. What happened? I dropped your gun. I can kick your wow. ass. No. I put a hit out on you when I get my welfare check. If the killers don't take them out... Shoot out the black tie! Who you think I am, Mel Gibson? They'll do it themselves. What the I'm supposed to get out from here? I'm a catch. Jump! Oh. All About the Benjamins, rated R. Starts Friday, March 8th. I am Emmett Smith. 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 No, really, I am. Worried that the you shopping online really isn't you? That's why Visa's introducing Verified by Visa, a new security service that will help protect Visa cards from unauthorized online use with a personal password. This service is only available on select Visa cards issued by participating banks. I am Emmett Smith. Please! To learn more and to check if your card is eligible for this service, go to visa.com slash verified. Make this... Saturn SL1 for $202 a month. Super Bowl kickoff show is brought to you by Charles Schwab, expert advice that's objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. And by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, America's beer, Beachwood Age, to deliver the crisp, clean, and refreshing taste of the king of beers.
Ladies and gentlemen, the colors for this evening's game will be displayed by members of the USS Cole, the U.S. Marine Corps, the New York, New Jersey Port Authority, and the New York City Police and Fire Department. The Star Spangled Banner will be signed for the hearing impaired by New Orleans Police Officer Joe Narcisse. And now to honor America, please join in the singing of our national anthem by the Boston Pops under the direction of Keith Lockhart and the biggest selling female recording artist in history, Mariah Carey. America Online makes it easy to keep in touch with loved ones, send instant messages to friends, get news, weather, and sports. But did you also know you can get WebMD, America's leading source of health information online? Keyword WebMD. My whole family got the flu and I got help on WebMD. WebMD is the health site that I trust the most. AOL has stuff you won't find anywhere else. WebMD, another great reason to sign up for AOL now. America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE. The Madone Revolution, first stop, LA Sports Arena. Behold, the irresistible Padone. New Padone from Pizza Hut, the pizza you eat like a sandwich. Give me a please. please. That's just the first half. We got the whole second half to go. See, that's what we call a whole lot of cheese. It's mozzarella cheese and tantalizing toppings. Sandwich calzone style. $5.99 or two for $10.99. See, that's where most of the succulents is happening in the cheek. Is this a Pazone party or what? The Pazone revolution. Join us. They all laughed at Christy Buck Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laugh when Edison recalls... So who is Motor Trend's 2002 Sport Utility of the Year? The GMC Envoy. Those who say America can't compete, don't take test drives. We are professional grade. Oh, 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 who's got the last laugh now? 
Bernie turned Jordan from a dud to a football stud? He hit the boy so hard, he's talking his tongue. Shalabalala. Marcus Allen guest stars. All new Bernie Mac. Fox Wednesday. Super Bowl Sunday. It's the Malcolm in the Middle that's so big, it had to be an hour. What do you think? This? Or this? With so many stars. Susan Sarandon. Tom Green. Christina Ricci. Harry Bradshaw. Howie Long. Magic Johnson. Heidi Klum. Bradley Whitford. It could only follow the Super Bowl. I told my husband that I was insane. When the big game is over, the real action begins. That's poison oak. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. One hour Super Malcolm after the Super Bowl on Fox. Fox Widescreen is presented by RCA, the official consumer electronics provider to the National Football League. The Superdome has been the site of a lot of Super Bowls. New Orleans has been the host of nine. Not all of them here. So a tyrant who enslaved a nation. Tomorrow my victory is complete. A warrior who would become their only hope. I have seen the prophecy. On September 11th, we as Americans were attacked because of our beliefs. The heroism of our firefighters, police officers, and emergency workers inspired an entire nation who immediately responded with their love and support. As a New Yorker, I'm very proud of the strength and resolve of all of our people, and so grateful for all the help we received. Now more than ever, we are one nation. For all New Yorkers, I just want to say, thank you, America. time alone on the farm, plowing, doing things with hay, so it's important to have an M life. Someday I'd like to go to New York City and go clubbing all night. The hogs get their own food for once. <laughs> Just kidding, Daisy. So the Rams get the lead, 3 nothing with 3.10 left in the first. A 53-yard, 50-yard field goal, that rather, by Wilkins the third longest in Super Bowl history. And it was the third 50-plus yard field goal in Super Bowl history. Patrick Pass is back a yard deep in the end zone to return the kick. And the Ram coverage is as it has been recently excellent. Mark Fields. Three-nothing Ram. Just not good with the ladies, like you said, right? All right. Try this on her. All right. I'm Paul. You have beautiful eyes. Uh, hi. I'm Paul, and you have beautiful eyes. I'd love to take you out sometime. Love to take you out sometime. So how much? So how much? With a great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Okay, I'd like you to choose between this untoasted sub or this toasted one. Oh, toasted. Dives right into the untoasted sub. The only way to beat a Quiznos toasted sub is to cheat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Toasty. We have got to cut cost, people. Ideas. We could open an account on FedEx.com, save 10% on online express shipping. Okay, how about this? We open an account on FedEx.com, we save 10% on online express shipping. Uh, that is wonderful. You just said the same thing I said, only you did this. No, I did this. Mm -hmm. Makes all the difference. Bingo. That's good. Right on the nose. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. 
Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. By Quiznos, oven toasted tastes better. By Monster.com, Monster, finding great jobs for great Americans. Never settle. And by Pepsi Cola, experience the joy of Pepsi. He's wanted. That's him. Dead or alive. We're pursuing leads as to his whereabouts. He's brought terror home. He's a terrorist who calls himself the Wolf. He's killed hundreds of people. Only one man, the Wolf is back in Colombia, can find him. Ah! Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can pay for that. Collateral damage. Rated R. Starts Friday. Wow. That is so cool. Can he do it again? Sure. Go get one, boy. Okay, so where does he get him? Yeah. I don't know. Get down! Great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Oh, that's a first. Make it a Bud Light. We're here to do the books. Accountants. I love numbers. Well, we work with numbers. Wow. Do you have an M life? Sure. Yeah, of course. Would you like one? <laughs> How'd you find this place? Yahoo. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. What? How did you learn how to talk? Yahoo. Hi, I'm Grant Wister of the NFC champion St. Louis Rams. We know that many of you serving our country overseas right now are watching the Super Bowl on the Armed Forces Network. So from all of us in the NFL, a special hello and thanks to all of you. And thanks to you from us as well. That's the end of the first quarter with the score of the Rams three, the Patriots nothing. Super Bowl 36 will continue after these messages. Hey, can I write a check for this? I just need to see some ID. Hold that thought. Judas, hi. Come on. Okay, so I was in a movie with an extra, Eunice, whose hairdresser, Wayne, attended Sunday school with Father O'Neill, who plays racquetball with Dr. Sanji, who recently removed the appendix of him who dumped you sophomore year. Hi. So you see, we're practically brothers. Tired of looking for ID? Use the Visa check card to get you in, out, and on with life. I forgot my ID again. <sighs> the individual's taxable year plus the tax credit allowed by subsection A shall not exceed the excess, if any, of one. Limitation based on amount of tax. 10% income tax rate bracket benefit for 2000 Don't worry. We know exactly what he's talking about. And with 441 tax law changes... You'll need all the help you can get. Page two, acceleration of 10%. My dad says I can't have an M license until I'm 16. No, he didn't. All the other kids at school have one. No, they don't. So he gave us these frogs instead. What's an M license? Quiet. You be quiet. For years, the signs have been appearing. This summer, their meaning will be revealed. Mel Gibson, M. Night Shyamalan's Signs. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water?
a German prisoner of war camp. There's an escape going to take place. 35 men go under the wire. How do you choose who goes out and who'd stay back to catch the hell for it? They were soldiers. There's Jesus! With one last mission. Send them up! They knew nothing! One man will not be sacrificed. One last stand. As long as my son knows, everything's okay. And one last battle. Get out! Bruce Willis. I hope. Hearts War. Rated R. Starts February 15th at theaters everywhere. Sam Adams of the Baltimore Ravens, working to help the United Way build stronger communities. <laughs> scared me. Stay tuned for the E-Trade Financial Halftime Show. Taxi! Oh, I got breath, baby. Cut! What's the problem? Excuse me, but... There's a new Lipton brisk that tastes so good it, it, it sells itself. So? Where's the director? So you puppets are fired. <laughs> Nobody fires Danny DeVito. I don't care if new brisk does taste better. What are you looking at? The puppet community is up in arms today over the unexpected firing of the much-beloved Lipton characters. Trying to keep the little man down. What's your take on all this, Jackie? It's unconstitutional, Pat. If the puppets go away, Lipton must pay. Hmm. We at Lipton feel no ill will toward the puppet community. Oh. This is purely a business decision. Off the record, we should be fired. The stuff sells itself. Ah, a little to the left. I don't know, Danny. Tastes really good to me. Traitor! Is that all you got, puppet boy? Ah! Oh, that's the story here. New brisk tastes so good, it sells itself. Get off of me! This is far from over. This race brought to you by Visa, the official card of the NFL, and the only card accepted at the Olympic Games. And the Visa Triple Crown. <laughs> Almost forgot. We're also the official card of NASCAR. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. By M Light by Dockers Dress Casuals, and by Pepsi. America voted online. Find out which Britney Spears Pepsi generation you love best next. Bourbon Street. Did you prowl Bourbon Street while you were there? Have you noticed? You hear something new at fountains today. People who think young say, Pepsi, please. The lively crowd today agrees. Those who think young say, Now it's Pepsi. Pepsi For those who think young The right one The modern light one Now it's Pepsi For those who think young America's critics were asked to pick their favorite TV show. The number one comedy wasn't Friends, Raymond, or Sex and the City. It was Malcolm in the Middle. There it is. Hello, little fella. Ah! Open the door! Open the door! Ah! Catch a special one-hour episode after the Super Bowl on Fox. Super Bowl 36 at the Superdome in New Orleans. I think I've learned how to say New Orleans. 
I don't know if Mike Martz has or not. I don't know if he's worried about it or not. Look at this. Fewest first half points. Nine points twice versus Tampa and the Giants. And this is like their last. Revolution Studios presents the new breed of secret agent. I want all of that in here. From the director of The Fast and the Furious, this summer. Dangerous, uncivilized. I love his attitude. Vin Diesel is. Triple X, I'm untouchable. in your thumb and that'll be your club. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That way you won't throw the club when you when your head's way up because you're looking where you're not supposed to. Am I not to. supposed to look? No. Head down. Take a swing now. <laughs> hey Sean. Who's that dancing with your wife? That's Henderson. Nice pants. Very nice pants. Dockers dress casuals. Finally, guys have an answer to the little black dress. How long did I think it would have been? My grandfather says that he worked hard to provide a good life for his family. Now he says he is alone and wants an M life to help him meet women. Hi, baby. Hi, I'm Ty Law. I'm proud to represent the AFC champion New England Patriots in Super Bowl 36. And our entire team is proud of the United States Armed Forces and what you do for our country each and every day. Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Levi's Jeans, the brand that lets you pick the spot. Meet the competition. Your kids' friends. They can be a big influence on your kids. And when you're not there, you never know. So know who your kids' friends are. And talk to your kids about things like cigarettes. So they'll be ready if the competition brings it up. You guys want a cigarette? No. Talk to your kids about not smoking. No listen. Let me go get something. Take away the cameras. Take away the crowds. Take away the medals and the clock. The other athletes and the judges. And what do you have left? A really fit guy who needs a job. Monster is proud to find great jobs for our U.S. Olympians and millions of other Americans. No sabe que siendo maduro en mi tierra, listo para volar mientras mi gente espera. Wednesday, get into the groove with that 80s show. Where can I find Duran Duran? Tamer. The new hit that 80s show, 87 Central Fox Wednesday. What a whale of a job that guy did, Rudy Giuliani, the ex mayor of New York. Super Bowl Sunday. It's the Malcolm in the Middle that's so big it has to be an hour with so many stars. Who goes around? Tom Green, Harry Bradshaw, Howie Long, Magic Johnson, Heidi Klum, Bradley Whitford. They could only follow the Super Bowl. Oh, my husband, I was insane. It's the one-hour Super Malcolm. You have to make a good first impression with a new boss. What do we have here? My big fat stomach. Tonight after the game on Fox. This should help. Frank! Wake up, Frank! Frank, wake up! 
Voice Dream's family time plan gives you so many minutes, there's no limit to how you can use them. Don't pay more, just get more. I know where Dad is. Yeah? I'm sorry, I was looking for the surprise party. This is it. Quick, hurry up and hide. Okay. <clears throat> Quiet, you ruin everything. Bring a box of Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> to any occasion. So, Dan, do we have everything we need for this meeting? It's all right here, sir. Is your data backup as reliable as it should be? Don't worry, sir. He told me everything. Ours is. Bright Store Storage Software from Computer Associates. I'm at the grocery store with a choice between fish cut from whole fillets or minced pieces. So here's my question. Exactly what pieces do they use? Always whole fillets, never minced pieces. Only Mrs. Paul's. Think about it. Now, there's a whole new way to enjoy Mrs. Paul's. Delicious new shrimp bowls. The finest shrimp. Inspired recipes in four delicious varieties. That Mrs. Paul's, she's good. Always the finest. Specially prepared. Only Mrs. Paul's. Super Bowl 36 is brought to you locally by Shields MRI. Technology for life. Day. Jerry, I'm gonna find you, I promise. 24 returns with the first of 12 consecutive original episodes. Jack Bauer is a scapegoat, is considered a fugitive. You don't have to worry about what you've missed. I don't know where Jack is. I'm not sure I believe you. Only what you're going to miss. Jack, get us out of here, please! If you don't get the thrill ride of the season starting this Tuesday. Who is this? I'm the last thing that you will ever see if anything happens to my wife or my daughter. An all-new 24 at 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. We recruit extraordinary people. The producer of Erin Brockovich takes you to England. Give me my passport. You won't be allowed to enter even as a tourist. My passport. To meet the men and women who serve our country with courage Rudy! and compassion. This embassy means home to Americans abroad. We are their life raft, the Isle of Refuge. Gotta have a taste of the Amber Way. The American Embassy, a new series coming this March to Fox. I'm a player in the National Football League, but that is not who I am. I play to win, but that's not all that drives me. My dream is to be a Super Bowl champion, but that is not my only goal. You see me as a player. I wish you would see me as a person as well. I'm a member of a community dedicated to making a difference. Dedicated to making a di difference in people's, people's lives. lives. In people's lives. I'm a player in the National Football League. I'm a player in the National Football League. It's that 70s show. A young man will fight to survive. He'll get blown to Canada. He's very light. A hero will be born. Everyone, follow me. A woman will be swept away by Luke Wilson. <laughs> Are you ready to roll? We're gonna win. And a boy will become a man. That just isn't even important anymore. I disagree. That 70s show, an all-new hour, starting at 8 Fox Tuesday. Supermodel Heidi Klum bears it all on the one-hour Super Malcolm after the game. <laughs> of the National Football League in Super Bowl 36, where the score at halftime is the Patriots 14, the Rams 6, the uh, Rams 3, I'm sorry, they didn't get 6.
truly can. Welcome to M Life from AT and T Wireless. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, thanks for asking. I'm doing fine. Just got in today. My brother-in-law picked me up at the airport. Mighty big airport y'all got here. And the people here are so nice. You want a beer? I want a bus. How you doing? 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 I'm doing fine. I just got here today. My brother-in-law picked me up at the airport. And the people sure are nice. Nice people. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine. I just got here. My brother-in-law came and picked me up from the airport. A mighty big airport. Access SuperBowl.com now on America Online. Cast your vote for today's Super Bowl MVP at AOL keyword SuperBowl.com. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Honey, I've got the black teddy on. Yeah, okay. And I put the satin sheets on the bed. Yeah, yeah. Be up in a minute. I've got cold bud light. Ow. Honey? For the great taste that won't throw you up and never let you down. Oh. Steve? Debbie? Make it a bud light. On March 1st, one young, normal, healthy American male will attempt the unthinkable. No sex for Lent. For 40 days. You're the guy who can't finish a sandwich. You think you can go 40 days? You won't last a week. There's just one problem. My name is Erica. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. We are totally connecting, and it's not a sexual thing. Josh Hartnett. Good night. Good night. 40 days and 40 nights. I somehow don't think Mr. Butterworth would appreciate that. Rated R. In theaters everywhere, Friday, March 1st. Hmm, it's an impressive resume. So tell me about yourself. So tell me about yourself. Excuse me? Excuse me? What are you doing? What are you doing? You realize if you continue in this manner, you'll be held in contempt pursuant to Rule 37B1. You realize if you continue in this manner, you'll be held in contempt pursuant to Rule 37B1. Please read back the last question and answer. Question. Given the nature of your experience... Hotjobs.com Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, America's Beer, Beachwood Age, to deliver the crisp, clean, and refreshing taste of the king of beers. Hi, I'm Orlando Pace of the NFC champion, St. Louis Rams. I'm proud to be part of Super Bowl 36, and I'm proud to be an American. I'm especially proud of the men and women who fight for our freedom every day. Thanks for your commitment and dedication. I want to be pampered by natives. I want to taste something exotic. I want to feel the wind in my hair. I want to take part in a native ritual. Closer to my children. I want to ride off with that special someone. I want to. Universal Orlando Resort. A vacation from the ordinary. So, what do you think of Subway's honey mustard turkey with cucumber? Mm. Low fat. It's delicious. And low fat. Yeah, whatever. Delicious turkey topped with a tasty honey mustard sauce and cucumbers. All on fresh baked bread and just four grams of fat. Well, this is good. Hard to believe it's low fat. Hard to believe you keep interrupting me. My point is only at Subway can you get a sandwich that tastes this good. And one that's good for you. Thank you, whoever you are. You're welcome, whoever you are. Subway is fresh! Done just a whale of a job. The commissioner Paul Tagliabue next to his 
wife Jan enjoying an American soda. And he's very proud. This summer, Cooling. Cooling. the epic trilogy will come full circle. Austin Powers is back. No! July 26th. Yeah, baby, yeah! This film is not yet rated. Well, did you get it? Just picked it up. Set up in the den. Boys, feast your eyes on the future. Whoa! Nice! Yeah, it's got three cheeses, a grilled tortilla case, all standard. And then, went for the upgrade. Wow, steak! Oh, the S-Class. Marinated carne asada steak, three melted cheeses. Upgrade to steak with Taco Bell's new steak quesadilla. And think outside the bun. is brought to you by hotjobs.com search for jobs by industry city or keyword and find the right fit at hotjobs.com hot jobs onward upward by at&t wireless welcome to m life at&t wireless by truth who remind you that knowledge is contagious in fact truth and by universal orlando resort a vacation from the ordinary with john madden i'm pat summerall at super bowl 36 in new hey ray ray look at this Wall-to-wall -wall entertainment. You want entertainment, Carl? I'll give you entertainment. Oh. Look, Carl, I'm a maniac! Maniac! No argument here. Let's see their entertainment do this! Whoa! Wait, I don't want to see anything do that. Have Blockbuster, the hottest new releases are guaranteed on DVD, so you'll always find the entertainment you want. That's it, Carl! Shake what your mama gave you! Make it a Blockbuster night. A normal guy who just can't seem to have a normal day. I got a big problem. I'm going sailing and I cannot find my sunglasses. Please, take mine! So unexpected! Andy Richter controls the universe coming this March to Fox. At the end of the third quarter with the score of the Patriots 17, the Rams 3, Super Bowl 36 will continue after a word from your local Fox station. satellite radio available at your local electronic store greg this one you gotta oh. see oh. Oh. that's leslie's first ad <laughs> look at that little tushy <laughs> that's that's a little tushy all right 
that cute little tushy that belongs to such an attractive, beautiful woman. Because it's grown up into something else. Nice, big, round tushy, you know. Have you seen it? Have you seen it lately? Is dinner coming soon, or is it... My last customer, her daughter, left this, and I'm going to drop it off. I'm Butch Stearns in New Orleans. Stick with Fox 25 for full post-game coverage after the Super Bowl. On March 27th, only he can meet his old enemies. There's no longer top of food chain. Our forces are ready to fight. You can take orders from me to fight a new breed of terror. Hey, Walker. Wesley Stimes, they do not know who you are. Blade 2, Rated R. Starts Friday, March 22nd. Welcome to the Gamble. Checking in? Yeah. First time with us? Yeah. Would you like a free newspaper in the morning? Sure. Shoeshine? Okay. Wake up call? 7 a.m. How about our turn down service with a complimentary chocolate on your pillow? Um, uh, great. Can I watch TV? No. <laughs> You've seen it before. There's the eye roll, the heavy sigh, the blank stare, and the ever-popular eye roll with the heavy sigh. But don't let that stop you from talking to your kids about not smoking. Because it's not about their reaction here. It's about their reaction here. Hey, do you want to see us? No, thanks. Talk to your kids about not smoking. They'll listen, even if they don't show it. It's the Malcolm with so many stars. It could only follow the Super Bowl. Catch Howie and Terry. That's why people don't like you. People like me. They don't like me. On the one-hour Super Malcolm after the Super Bowl on Fox. Adolphus Bush started making Budweiser 125 years ago. He purposely brewed Budweiser as a smooth, refreshing, premium lager. Five generations later, we couldn't be more proud to be America's favorite beer. Let me pour one. That Quiznos toasted sub looks better than ours. What happens if they choose? Doctors can now write prescriptions for a medicine that can actually shorten the duration of the flu. With first symptoms, call your doctor immediately. As you know, a large valve area makes for good breathing. That's why Volkswagen's Enhanced Turbo uses three intake valves and two exhaust valves to provide better fuel-air filling and improved gas discharge. Oh. Oh. Okay. He's saying that the Volkswagen Turbo gets good gas mileage. And it's fast. Now, let's discuss the intake valve camshaft timing. Volkswagen's Enhanced Turbo technology. It's not rocket science. Well, it is, sort of. Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, America's beer, Beachwood Age, to deliver the crisp, clean, and refreshing taste of the king of beers. By AT&T Wireless, welcome to M-Life, AT&T Wireless. By Pepsi-Cola, experience the joy of Pepsi. And by FedEx, shipping at FedEx.com. It's fast, it's easy, and it just got cheaper. 17-3. Nine thirty-three left to a nuclear weapon is hidden somewhere in America, and the only operative who can help me get it back has been murdered. Which leaves us with only one option. My twin brother was CIA. We need you to stand in for him. So when do we start? Now. 
producer Jerry Bruckheimer and director Joel Schumacher. Dobkin. Get the bomb, I'll cover you. Rock. Why don't you get the bomb, and I'll cover you? Bad company. Give me a towel. Dale, thanks for being designated driver. No problem, man. Stop. Make a left up here. Hey, 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 Mr. Fisher! Okay, make a quick left, and then, uh, slow down. Sydney! Sydney! What's going on? Make a right on Havermeyer. Stop. Make a left on Jack. Dude, where exactly do you live? I'm right back by the bar. Hey, Bobby! Want retirement advice from someone you can trust? At Charles Schwab, you'll get expert advice that's objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. To discuss your retirement plan, call 1-888-4-SCHWAB. This is a puppet show. This is a puppet show on Fox. Show me the bunny. You know what I got to say to that? Any questions? Dude, my dishes are in there. Greg the Bunny, coming this March to Fox. Hi, I'm Joe Andruzzi of the AFC Champion New England Patriots. On behalf of my teammates and the fellow NFL players, we thank the men and women of the United States military for all that you do to protect our way of life. We salute you. Joe Andruzzi was touched more than most. And these are his brothers right here. Oops, just lost him. Super Bowl Sunday. It's the Malcolm in the Middle that's so big, it had to be an hour. What do you think? This? This with so many stars: Susan Sarandon, Tom Green, Christina Ricci, Harry Bradshaw, Howie Long, Magic Johnson, Heidi Klum, Bradley Whitford. It could only follow the Super Bowl. I told my husband that I was insane. When the big game is over, the real action begins. That's for smoke. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. One hour Super Malcolm after the Super Bowl on Fox. <laughs> For today's MVP on SuperBowl.com, be a part of the process because your vote counts according to siding. Super Bowl 36 on Fox is brought to you by Cadillac, official vehicle of Super Bowl 36. Taco Bell announces a revolution in steak, the S-Class. The new 2002 steak quesadilla has unmatched flavor dispersion thanks to marinated carne asada steak. Other luxury appointments include three melting cheeses to rev up your taste buds and a toasty grilled tortilla. No wonder Steak Enthusiast magazine calls it a tasty triumph of culinary engineering. Bite into the new steak quesadilla today and see how it feels to think outside the bun. I helped murder families in Colombia. It was just innocent fun. I helped kidnap people's dads. Hey, some harmless fun. I helped kids learn how to kill. I was having some fun, you know. I helped kill policemen. I was just having fun. I helped a bomber get a fake passport. All the kids do it. I helped kill a judge. I helped blow a building. My life, my body. It's not like I was hurting anybody else. When Bernie coaches Pee Wee football, that's your official cup. He's gonna need some help from his friends. Play little football. Try Super Bowl MVP. So good. Yeah. Marcus Allen guest stars on an all-new Bernie Mac. Nine, eight Central, Fox Wednesday. He hit the boy so hard he's talking his tongue. It can happen at any school at any time. Tomorrow it's happening at Boston Public. They want revenge on other jocks and teachers who have picked on them. I've notified the police. We're going into lockdown. Explosives were found in the basement. A bomb. Everybody out. Evacuate now. Oh my God. The Boston Public you can't miss. All new tomorrow.
He came with a black dude, but he kept getting pulled over. Fox next Sunday. I will give you $1 million to let me spend a weekend with your wife. Can the Simpsons survive an indecent proposal? We can't take his money. I can't take his money. I can't print my own money. Why don't I just lie down and die? The Simpsons, all new at 8, 7 Central, next Sunday on Fox. Lexus ES300. With front-wheel drive and available vehicle skid control, it'll help keep you on the road. Assuming you can find it. Find your Boston area Lexus dealer. Excitement Post Game Show, brought to you by Pontiac, introducing the all-new Vibe. And folks, one of the biggest upsets in Super Bowl history has just occurred. The New England Patriots win it by a field goal, 20 to 17, on an Adam Vinatieri 48-yard field goal. Folks, this is the Taco Bell Think Outside the Bun play of the game. Adam Vinatieri. Through on the mark with that 48-yard field goal, and the Patriots, huge underdogs coming into this contest, pull off the victory. And folks, from Quincy Market to the North End, from Beacon Hill to the Back Bay, the New England Patriots sent a message tonight, the champions are coming, the champions are coming. And like those ragtag troops who thumbed their noses at King George, the Patriots defeated a vastly superior enemy which supposedly outgunned them at every turn. As I join, am joined now by my colleagues, Howie Long and Chris Collinsworth, I go back to what you said at the top of the show. 
you were a little uncomfortable, Chris, with this big a margin in favor of the Rams. You know, I don't even know where to start, JB. This is one of the greatest games I've ever seen. But give Robert Kraft credit. Here's a guy that gave up draft choices to get Bill Belichick. The defensive scheme was absolutely amazing. And then the decision to let Tom Brady go at the end, amazing. Starting out the season one and three, upset wins over Oakland, and then upset win over Pittsburgh, and now this game. Bill Belichick's performance of coaching this team has to get down as one of the greatest in the history of the NFL. And as a Hall of Famer defensive player, I know how he appreciated the very physical play that the Patriots showed all evening long. Folks, for the championship trophy presentation, let's take you out to the center of the field and our colleague, Terry Bradshaw. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to present to you now the commissioner of the National Football League, Paul Tagliabue, who will present the Vince Lombardi Trophy emblematic of the world champion of Super Bowl 36, Bob Kraft, and the New England Patriots. <laughs> Mr. Kraft, let me get your lovely wife, Myra, in here. Mr. Commissioner, go right ahead, sir. Bob, you played a super opponent today. You concluded an extraordinary season with a game for the ages. I know it fulfills a lifetime of dreams for you, for your family, for Coach Belichick and your players. Congratulations on a tremendous victory. Thank you, Commissioner. Hold it up, hold it up high, Bob. Enjoy the moment. The fans of New England have been waiting 42 years for this day. And we are world champions. And I, the Kraft family is happy to be associated with coaches and team players who put team first as the way they came out of the tunnel tonight. And in a way, the fact that our players and coaches at this time in our country, when people are banding together in a, for a higher cause, can feel this special spirit of America, we're proud to be a symbol of that in a small way. Spirituality, spirituality, faith, and democracy are the cornerstones of our country. We are all patriots, and tonight, the Patriots are world champions. Bob, let me ask you, such a, Coach Belichick, such, people thought you were crazy when you gave up a number one draft choice for this man right here, Coach Bill Belichick. It must make you feel proud to know that you have a head coach that respects you, loves, cares about you, and finally has seen that dream come true. Well, the best deal I ever made was getting this guy. Thank you. Bill, uh, congratulations. I have to ask you, after the first game in which you blitzed so much in that, in that football game, over 35 blitzes, what was the changes? What did you see and say to yourself, this is what we have to do differently if we want to compete against this team, which was so heavily favored? Well, they did a great job of picking those blitzes up in the first game, so we covered a little bit more in this game. But I think it's just a great job by our players and our coaches on preparation all week. And, uh, you know, this team beat the number one seed in the AFC in Pittsburgh, beat the number one seed in the NFC here in St. Louis. All the credit's got to go to the players and the coaches. And, and if we're playing next week, we'll probably be the underdog. How, what was the mindset, Bill? Because this, how do you come in here and how did you keep your team so loose? Because quite honestly, people said the speed on this turf, your team can't match up. I noticed in this game, it looks like you pressed a lot, doubled up a lot, mixed it up a lot, and made them hold the football longer than Kurt Warner normally likes to hold the football. Well, we, I thought we had to do that, Terry. I thought we had to cover more than rush because he gets it out of there so quick. Uh, we tried to rush him with everything but the kitchen sink in the first game, and, and they did a great job, and he got rid of it, so we thought we had to do a little more cover in this game. But again, these players, there's a lot of other people that don't believe in them, but they believe in themselves, and that's really all that matters. You know, they know they can play with anybody. Coming into this game, he had a basically a rookie quarterback, a second-year guy, and I think, once again, hats off to you for a gutsy decision. When Drew Bledsoe came back, you stuck with with uh, Tom Brady. What was it about Brady that you saw that you said, this is my quarterback? 
Well, he's been playing. You know, he, he's had most of the snaps. He's been playing. He's had the timing with the, the offensive line and the receivers and so forth. I just thought that gave us the best chance this week. But, you know, Duke, Drew did a tremendous job last week in Pittsburgh. Uh, we got two good quarterbacks. In fact, we got three good ones with Heward. So you can't have too much depth at that position, Terry. I, I, I have to give hats off to your offensive line. I thought when you got the ball I, with a minute 41, I'm hollering, well, they'll kill the clock. They'll kill the clock. They'll kill the clock. <laughs> but yet, Tom Weiss, your offensive coordinator, took the football down the field and you put the game the first time ever we had a field goal the side of the Super Bowl. You did put this thing in his hands. How proud are you of what he, the game that he called today? Uh, Charlie did a tremendous job offensively. The, the players executed great, and we got a couple of big plays out of J.R. Redmond and Jermaine Wiggins and, of course, Troy Brown on that last drive. And, and of course, a huge kick out of Vinatieri. He's been, he's been dependable, and he's been our clutch guy all year. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank Coach. You, Tom Brady, come here. Come here. Come here, you. Over here. Congratulations. This has got to feel. This has got to feel like, man. I don't believe this is happening to me. Like a dream come yeah, true. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, but it's an example of what happens when guys believe in each other. And I mean, there's so much, so many reasons why we're here. I mean, Damon and Drew Bledsoe and my coach. You know, it's always with the support. The way the offensive line played today. The running back to Antoine. I mean, it's just. Uh, Dream comes true. Dream comes true. Super Bowl champ. How about the last drive? Up to that drive, about 88 yards passing. Pretty much ran the football. What about that last drive? Well, it's the way the team, we, whenever we've had our backs against the wall, we've responded all year. Because when last week in Pittsburgh, Drew comes in and throws touchdown passes. Um, you know, all year, Oakland game, Adam kicks the game winner. It just, uh, it's, it's awesome. To have all the Patriot fans here. Bring your championship home to Boston. Turn around. Tom Brady, turn around. I want to hand you these keys to an Escalade EXP sitting right over there. Cadillac, you are the MVP of Super Bowl 36. Congratulations. That's my car. That's your, that's your car. Oh, that's your car. Oh, man. Uh, there's a lot of guys that deserve that car. I'm sure everyone could use it. It's a team car now. Might for me, but everyone's using it. <laughs> So they can help pay the taxes on it too. Yeah, that's okay. I guess I'll be doing that. But I want to say hi to my family, mom, dad. We did unbelievable. My sisters, my brother-in-law, my little niece, Maya. Congratulations. Where's Adam Benatieri? See up here. Where's that? Hey, come here, Adam. Come here. Hey, you're making a habit of this. I mean, first we see you against the Raiders in a snowstorm. Hit a 40, what, 45-yarder there to win that football game, send you down to the championship game. What about today? What's going through your mind? Did you think that your team would try to drive down the field and give you that chance? Absolutely. I knew they would because we got a ton of champions out here, and these guys never, ever give up. I've never been so proud to be a member of anything in my life. I love every one of these guys. They just stepped up, balled all game long, shocked the world, but we didn't <laughs> shock ourselves because we're champions. Woo! All right, congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you very World much. Champ. Where's Ty Law? Where's Ty at? Ty, come here, man. <laughs> Why were defensive backs in this football game? You guys did an incredible job. It appeared that you wanted to jam their quick receivers, slow down their tempo and their rhythm, right or wrong? Yeah, they say it's the best track team in the National Football League, but I've never seen anybody win a 100-meter dash with somebody standing in front of them. We came out here, we challenged them. No one gave us a chance. Uh, my secondary, Lawyer Malloy, Otis Smith, Terrell Buckley, all y'all dogs, nobody gave us a chance. We put it on them. We got the interception. What? Tell me, come here, Ty. Tell me about the interception. Well, we put a little pressure on them. I got to give a lot of credit to Mike Vrabel. He put the pressure on them to make us throw you know, a bad ball, but we were in man-to-man -man coverage like we were all, all day. I got a good break on it, it came right to me, and it was no slowing me down there. Once I got it, I knew it was all in zone. Congratulations, Ty Law. Hey, thank you. You got it. All right, I want to send this thing back, back to James Brown. JB? All right, Terry, thank you very much. And it's pretty obvious, listening to all of the players, and most importantly, at the top of the organization, Bob Kraft, that this is indeed a team, and they feel that way from top to bottom. Champions of Super Bowl 36 are the New England Patriots who came in not believing the talk that they were underdogs. They're now the champs.
the amp plugs into the car. There's got a oh, wow, that's cool. Plugs right in there. Oh, wow. My band could go on tour in this because we could just plug in. Did you play guitar? I play drums. Uh, can you do a drum beat on the car? Meet the new Pontiac Vibe. Thank you. <laughs> I see a lot of things in here that most people don't. But I've seen a lot of miracles, too. Here in the ER, critical decisions are made every minute. But for pain management, the choice is clear. Tylenol. It's the first choice of emergency rooms nationwide. Not Advil, not Aleve, Tylenol. When the stakes are high, you bring them here. Tylenol. More emergency rooms take comfort in our strength. It's a boy. I had a starvation diet once. Or the meat diet, the one where you eat just meat. I diet sometimes, but only in moderation. The low-fat diet. It was all pureed food, puree diet. The bean diet. The corn juice diet. That one was rough. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. These people found a sensible way to lose weight. A recent study by a major university found that having a bowl of Kellogg's Special K or Kellogg's Smart Start for two meals a day for two weeks could help you lose up to six pounds. I feel great. And I didn't have to eat like a rabbit. Heartburn? Give me a cold one. Introducing Tums Cool Relief with Freeva Crystals for an immediate cooling, soothing sensation and fast heartburn relief. New Tums Cool Relief with Calcium. The prize for trolls in Minnesota to surprise our new winner. Oh, please be clear. Oh, my God. Oh, no. You've just won $10 million from Publishers oh, Clearinghouse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> Patriots fans, your team just won the Super Bowl. And now, direct from the NFL shop, you can own the Patriots Super Pack, the official championship cap and t-shirt worn by players and coaches during the post-game celebration, along with the official Super Bowl 36 video, capturing all the thrilling championship moments. Call 1-877-NFL-SHOP and own a piece of Patriots history. Get the official hat, t-shirt, and video for only $59.99. Call 1-877-NFL-SHOP or go to SuperBowl.com now. Fox Tuesday. Jerry, I'm going to find you, I promise. 24 returns with the first of 12 consecutive original episodes. Jack Bauer is escaped and is considered a fugitive. You don't have to worry about what you've missed. I don't know where Jack is. I'm not sure I believe you. Only what you're going to miss. Jack, get us out of here, please! If you don't catch the thrill ride of the season starting this Tuesday. Who is this? I'm the last thing that you will ever see if anything happens to my wife or my daughter. And all new 24 at 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. After the Super Bowl, it's the Malcolm in the Middle so big it had to be an hour and so outrageous it could only be on Fox. Catch a star-studded super episode of TV's most critically acclaimed comedy, the one-hour Super Malcolm, right after our post-game show here on Fox as we welcome you back. Welcome back to the Pontiac Excitement post-game show. And we welcome you back to the excitement that is Super Bowl 36 and folks, the New England Patriots define all the odds, all the critics, and winning Super Bowl 36. Troy Brown, Lawyer Malloy. Troy Brown, folks, keep this in mind. Cut by the New England Patriots early in his career, and now a star. What kept you going? Hey, I love this game. But this moment right here, that's what kept me going. I had watched so many Super Bowls, this guy winning them. Hey, I love this game, man. I didn't want to leave it. And uh, I just kept fighting and got my job. Hey. And I said I'd never get cut again, and I never got cut again. So here I am, Super Bowl, the Super Bowl victory. Well, now, if you can remember Terry Bradshaw playing, I'm sure Lawyer Malloy from the defensive side can remember that guy playing defense. Oh, yeah. Then, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, we shot the world. We shot the world. This is not for anybody else but us and our fans, the greatest fans in America. This is what it's all about. Can nobody take this from us for life? Well, you guys took a totally different approach in this football game versus the first football game. We talked about it in the pregame show, not being able to get pressure on this team in the first game. This game, a totally different story. Like the first game, we blitzed them a lot, and their answer was a three-step drop, which we didn't really compete well against. Uh, this, this game right here, we, we played cover two, but the thing that we came in the game with was a, was a mentality that anybody that gets the ball has to get hit. You saw balls flying because we had a passion to get to the ball. Lawyer, until that final drive, all the points came off of turnovers created by your defense. Was that the plan? Hey, this is a total team team effort right here. Defensively, we don't have any standout players. Week in, week out, we have somebody different stepping up. And that's exactly the reason why we're here as a team. 
on both sides of the ball, special teams, it's always somebody else, and it's so sweet. Let me ask Troy real quickly. Troy, what about, you're the guy that they throw the football, so you're the one man, everybody knows, take you out, there's no basket. How much pressure coming into this football game? Because I really thought they had to go down the middle of the field, but y'all didn't, y'all never got away from running it, sharp possession, then the big drive at the end of the game. Well, they did a good job of taking away the middle of the field for most of the game. But we took our shots when we had a chance. We did a, Tom did a, did a good job of hitting his check down, his backs and his tight ends and stuff like that, you know. But uh, that's what we had to do to keep the ball moving against that cover two defense that they had. And, uh, and that was our game plan, was to hit the check downs and be patient, and we'll hit them sooner or later. From Troy and Loya, one word, yes or no. Were you upset that folks were saying this absolutely was going to be a Rams victory? We weren't upset. We knew what we had. We knew we had a good team. We believe. People, people die for their beliefs. We believe in our team. All right. And the belief came true tonight. All right, folks. Troy Brown and Lawyer Malloy of the New England Patriots. When we continue, we'll have a word from the St. Louis Rams. Of course. The Patriots, Patriots, the coaches, the crowd. This is a welcome they appreciate and know as a million plus New Englanders brave temperatures and the wind chill factors in the team to give a special New England congratulations to the world champion team. You see Tom Brady, most valuable player. He doesn't have a hat on. He's waving fresh from Disney World. Listen to him. Right in front of us. There's Brady. crowd here little kids on board Isn't that great? <laughs> brought the families <laughs> look at the crowd we're looking at the uh, Patriots cheerleaders the people in the crowd have got their cameras out they're getting as many pictures as they can and what's interesting is that the players have got their cameras and they're taking pictures of the crowd they should because this is a sight that very few people have ever seen in boston as a million and a half perhaps maybe even more of lying the street all the way leading to city hall plaza we've got players in the back of the boat encouraging the crowd to jump and yell and scream and <laughs> look at what them over there was yelling let's hear it let's hear it some of those big linemen they don't need much coats on <laughs> Again, this is a terrific crowd, well-behaved, smiling and laughing, showing love for these great athletes. The duck boats go 15 or 20 feet, and they stop as they're taking their time going along the two-mile route, which will probably take. Can you get a picture of that, Mark? Get a picture over our head. You can see them wave. job who uh, I think represents so much of the heart and soul of those uh, defensive middle linebackers tough no nonsense and winners the final duck coach are going past the start the official start of the two mile long parade at Copley Square Experience 
for the fans. Unbelievable. As they pass by here at Dartmouth and Boylston and continue to make their way down this route. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's sort of interesting. As soon as that parade leaves, people are <laughs> heading for the exit. Well. That's right. Uh, tens of thousands of people as soon as they went past, and you can't blame them. It's ice cold, and many people been out here hour upon hour, but actually the duck boats are not that far from us. They're the last of the players about the, um, about the middle of Copley Square, We're going by the Trinity Church now, to give you some sort of an idea. Those of you who are awaiting this parade, as they make their way down the next several blocks toward the uh, toward the Boston Common, then a left turn on the Tremont Street and winding up there, and then a right turn on the Court Street and a left turn on Congress, and by golly, you find the it's, city. You hall. know, it's like the wave moving through here too, because you can see as we look down Boylston, you can see the arms in the air and the screaming and the flags and the and the signs waving and the excitement. I'm telling you, leaving Copley Square now, there have got to be at least a couple hundred thousand people up and down this couple blocks. I've never seen anything like it. It's like Fenway Park all of a sudden emptied on both sides of the streets, up and down here once the crowd goes by. And of course, those of you waiting are about to see all of the Patriots. People are filling the streets now and walking up behind the parade after the ambulances and the police support team there as they continue to make their way down Boylston Street and the crowds continue to wait. We'll be able to, uh, by the way, Kim, get some pretty good shots here in just a moment. Our camera's down at the uh, at the Boston Common, but it'll be just a matter of a few moments. But in the meanwhile, you can see uh, this tremendous uh, crowd and dispersing now. It, it's a, quite a shot even here right now. I can't believe it. duck boats with the players and their families as they make their way through. I think for us here at uh, Copley, one of the most exciting moments was when the very first duck boat came in with Robert Kraft on board, and of course he had that Lombardi trophy. He held that up and the crowd went crazy. That will be the moment I will remember, Jack. It has been very special as we kick off the parade here, but there's a lot more to come as they wind their way, heading past the Boston Common on down to City Hall Plaza. For Kim Kerrigan, I'm Jack Williams, and let's send it down to Joe and Lisa and Bob at City Hall Plaza. Go get a patron. You know, and as you look through the crowd here on City Hall Plaza and you see the red, white, and blue, you see the American flag, you see the smile on everybody's face. I mean, this, this city, this state, this region, this country really needed this in the, in the wake of 9-11. I mean, there's such a good feeling today, such a reason for celebration. Such a reason for feeling good about this championship. Especially in this year with so many other things that have happened. To have the Patriots win the Super Bowl is something that I think you're right. People around the country are celebrating today. Well, and during the Super Bowl when they had the pitchers from Afghanistan and they had the American troops rooting for the Patriots. Of course. Who better? <laughs> and, and what were you saying about Old North Church today? That's right. They're going to put out two lanterns church as a nod to history you know the old one if by land two if by sea well the two lanterns will be out to signify that the patriots are coming and we assume these duck boats are the uh, sea vehicles at least for today bob any sort of perspective here on this crowd i mean this emotion in the streets of that. boston well, i don't think that in modern day uh, history we've seen the likes of this uh if if ever but on Forget the temperature, forget the, the wind chill factors. I mean, this is overwhelming, and it's the pictures basically speak for themselves. There's been a turnout here that I don't think anyone could have expected. I know the players were expecting a lot of uh, well-wishers and a great reception, but they themselves have to be totally stunned by the number of people and the enthusiasm uh, shown by those people for what they have accomplished. I don't even think in their wildest imagination did they think that they would get this kind of reception. And I know in our wildest imagination that we ever think they'd win a Super Bowl. So I think all fair in love and war and the National Football League. So uh, they're getting their just due today. And I think this is a day that not only the, all of us will remember, 
but the players themselves will never ever forget. Is there anything wrong with the term team of destiny? Is there anything wrong with calling this team a team of destiny? Uh, initially, some players seem to take a little bit of offense at that. Well, it but almost seemed that they were questioning whether the word destiny was something that took away from their effort. In other right. words, something that is destined perhaps just happens on its own. I wondered if that was their, uh, their problem but with that. Phrase. In a way, they are, though. I mean, to be a team of, I mean, to have this celebration and to have the Patriots, given what has happened to this country since September 11th, and to have it be a unifying force that it certainly is around I mean, the world. competition. <laughs> I mean, that's to be something that divides people. The other great thing, and you can see it at home if you're watching these pictures, and we're certainly seeing it here at City Hall Plaza, but a whole half of the plaza is now bathed in this great sunlight. It's not as windy as it was maybe half an hour ago. We can see that the helicopters are moving closer to our position here. So the crowd is getting the sense that after all these hours, they are finally about to see this team. And people are on balconies. They are on rooftops. They have their noses pressed up against the glass of the high-rise buildings as they stare down onto the street. There are banners hanging out. There are people lining the rooftops as you head towards Faneuil Hall. They're all the way around the corner down on Congress Street. They're as far as you can see right now down Tremont Street. And you need a shoehorn to get on City Hall Plaza. They were concerned a few minutes ago because some of the guide wires that are actually holding up the false roof above the stage are connected, tethered, if you will, in the crowd. So when the crowd moves too much or too close to those, there is some danger that the roof could come down. So the police were asking everybody, back up, stay away from the guide wires, don't lean on them, don't turn it into a mosh pit before the team gets here. And the fans, at least for now, seem to be adhering to all of that. I tell you what, I think a lot of lifelong relationships are going to be formed in this crowd. <laughs> you may <make> friends <laughs> that I've never met close. before. <laughs> you know, a lot of, a lot of, give me your number, I'll talk to you later, things. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Getting cozy at City Hall Plaza. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? We're all here for a common cause. You don't have to ask them their sign. You just, the, the sign that they have is Patriot. The sign that they have, they're holding over their I'm head. I'm not a German, I am a Patriot. <laughs> The parade is taking obviously a little longer than some people thought because the crowds are so large. There are so many people in the street. The security is so intense. But in just a few moments, Bob Kraft will be up on stage with the Vince Lombardi trophy. The mayor will be there. The coach will be there. And many of the players will be there. And this crowd, I don't even, can't even begin the, the sound that's going to come out of this crowd when they go up on that stage. And the crowd that's in here only represents a fraction of the people that are in this area. I mean, obviously, you can only fit so many people in this enclosed space. They're out on the street. They're in front of the Jumbotrons, Joe, as you mentioned. They're now lining the roofs of the buildings that surround City Hall Plaza, waving American flags, signs that say, we believe, all in anticipation of the team's arrival, which we hope will be in a few minutes. And you know, each and every year on the newscast, we end up showing video from other cities in the country about their celebrations and their parades. Well, yeah. you know what? How great this is This one it? is going around the world and saying, look at those people in Boston. Okay. It was a wind chill factor of minus 10 or whatever. And they look how many people turned out in Boston to welcome home the Patriots. So take that. They yeah. know how to act, they know how to win, and they know how to celebrate. Got it, Lisa. The trifecta. For some reason, the Yankee parades in New York City come to mind. I'm sick of seeing those. But they were saying that perhaps they should uh, play the, uh, the Super Bowl tape the fourth quarter for the Boston Red Sox at spring training, get them working on a championship. Now that we have some new owners, maybe some new players, some new blood there, maybe it won't be long, Bob, and we'll be back here again. I don't want to go there, next, Come on, Bob. No, next, could have Bob, a spillover Bob, effect. Next October we'll be here. Spring training starts in two weeks. It's the last thing from my mind. But if Joe's talking like that, you can tell it's already having an effect on longtime fans. Apparently, but like I said, spring training starts in two weeks. I don't want to talk about it. But does it have an effect, Bob? Does this championship have an effect, you think, on other sports teams in the city? Well, it certainly can show them what's possible. Uh, I think this is the parade the Red Sox dreamed of having. <laughs> this is the parade that the Yankee Trust felt would have been, would have been and should have been theirs. But you know what? You snooze, you lose. And the Patriots were the opportunists, and they're the ones that earned it, and they're the ones that got the parade. I'm sorry, but the Red Sox are going to have to sit this one out. It is great, though, to see these images of the players reaching out of the duck boats and waving to the fans. So many fans lining those streets. 
I mean, this is really a beautiful, beautiful picture. And the other night, I know, Bob, when you were talking with Lawyer Malloy, he said, tell them to keep the party going through Tuesday. We'll be there on Tuesday. We want to celebrate with you. And they could never have imagined anything like that. No, that's right, Lisa. That's, we kept the party going, but they, they had no idea what... We had no idea. Let, let's face it. I think we're all amazed about the number of people and the, the spirit of the people and the excitement of the people. I, Just, imagine you're a player. Imagine you're a player on one of those duck boats at this point. I mean, what is going through your mind? There is another city in the country that's going to put on uh, an event like this. I don't care. We've seen it all. We've seen it in San Francisco. We've seen it in New York. We've seen it in, in uh, Baltimore. We've seen it in every place that's had a championship in the celebration. But under these circumstances, it's just this. It's a, you know what? We're number one, okay? I yeah. Just take that. Take that. We you? are number one, and we deserve it. For today, we'll take it. And they say that the parade has not been able to make the turn yet, even at Tremont Street. Everything we're seeing here is Boylston Street. They're not even close to City Hall. to be one of the great on wash and I'm standing here with my buddies although they got here a good deal earlier than I did and one of them who happens to be right in the front row has a ringside seat to the New England Patriots tell us your name and where you're from Matthew Doyle and I'm from Royal Mass what time did you get here Matthew um six o'clock who do you most want to see Tyra <laughs> what's on the back of your jersey pal Ty Law, who happens to be my neighbor, by the way. <laughs> Although, I've, I've never dropped in on him. Look at the number of people here who have, have been here already. Seven hours. One of my buddies here was one of the first people here. Tell us where you're from, what your name is, and what time you got here. My name's Chris. I'm from Wakefield. I got here at 6 o'clock this morning, waiting for the men to show up. How long have you been a Patriots fan? Yes, many a yes. What, what do you think about this event, and how do you think you'll remember it? It's awesome. It's awesome. Can't argue with it. The best. We're number one. Number one, yeah. baby! If we can get a better look at the crowd here, I want to tell you about some of the things that are happening. Can we point the camera over to my right? The barricade is just bending about uh, 10, 15, 20 degrees from time to time. Just a little while ago, part of it collapsed. Boston police helped some people out of the crowd. We don't want to make too much of this, but there were a couple of uh, walking wounded, so to speak, who were taken out of the crowd. Earlier, there were a number of people who were becoming hypothermic. Rich Serino, the superintendent of emergency medical services for Boston, told me they would take them over the barricade and around inside City Hall Plaza and treat them. That is not as much of a problem now because we've all got the sunshine on us. Now part of the barricade is being handed over the crowd to Boston police who have appealed to these people that remain peaceful not to push and it'll be quite a challenge for them to uh, maintain that peace. But so far, this crowd mainly wants to see the Patriots arrive, share in the celebration, and has been peaceful. So there you have it. From the great unwashed, Bob. A great moment, a sterling moment, as sterling as the Vince Lombardi trophy. All right, Ronnie, get a little MVP award for that little tour duty. Sounds like he's loving it, though. How can you not love it? Uh, 
The only way you could not love it is if, well, you're in St. Louis. <laughs> you're a Rams fan. <laughs> Imagine you're a visitor to the city of Boston today. Imagine that you're actually here trying to accomplish something, getting any kind of work done. I bet you get swept up in this. You know, or, or trying to drive down a city street at this point. I mean, Boston has basically stopped. The business has stopped. The rest of us have stopped. And everybody is coming together for this moment. There's no choice but to join the party. That's right now, we want to go right down to the parade route live with my colleague Sarah Underwood and Ted Wayman. Take it away, guys. Hi, right, Lisa. We are, understand that they are just passing the Four Seasons, so they'll be taking the left on Cremont Street any moment now. This is kind of New England's version of Make Way for Patriots. We got those 13 duck boats filled with about 200 people making their way up. And they're doing it nice and slow, just the way I think New England Patriots fans want them to. These folks have been standing out in the cold for hours, so they're going to make sure that they're going to have their up-close and personal moment with all those Patriots as they slowly make their way. As you can see, flying that Patriots banner. There are people here on uh, Tremont Street that are literally hanging out the windows, the doors, even spending this much time outside as they're looking for their Patriots to make their way up Tremont Street. We see the first horses that precede uh, those duck boats there. Just as they turned the corridor, it seemed like the sun came out on Tremont Street, which is a really great thing to these fans. And I know all the people standing right next to me can't wait till uh, the parade gets right up to us. They're going wild here, waving banners, waving plans, bands. They are chanting, and I think, you know, the best seat in the house might might be in those apartments up there. You know, when we were in New Orleans, it seemed like it was the New England Patriots versus the fans of St. Louis, and it was maybe five to one in numbers inside that Superdome, and the fans here have picked it up from there, coming out in droves. This is likely to set that record of 1.2 million, maybe exceeding, maybe to make that close to a million and a half. People keep coming out of the doors and offices in this area, as you can hear, the crowd is finally getting set, their sights set on that those first horses and police cruisers that have just taken the left on the Tremont Street as the duck tours now head on Tremont Street, finally heading for City Hall Plaza. And you know, Ted, I learned a little tidbit about how the Patriots got their name. It was in 1960, and there was a contest, and 74 fans signed up for that contest, and they chose the Patriots. And that name is just so fitting for this team right now. And this is a team that has been on a high since Sunday night. There have been very few hours of sleep that the Patriots have had since Sunday night. They had that late night party that the Crafts threw. Then uh, they were out, some enjoying Bourbon Street on, uh, in New Orleans that evening, then back on the plane, flying out back into Boston. And uh, they're clearly on a high as many as New England Patriot Nation is, as they just, everybody's just soaking this in and savoring it. It has been 42 years since this franchise Got it. Got into gear, and they are finally enjoying the uh, the fruits of their success, enjoying a Super Bowl championship. Yeah, it's been 42 years they haven't seen this, and what is also great, it's been since 1986 since New England has seen a championship here, and so these fans are going crazy, and the floats seem like they're coming right up to us. It could be here any moment right now. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, definitely it's slow but steady as the duck tours come. You can hear these fans just really start to turn it up on Tremont Street. They have been here all morning long. We got here at 9.30. I think they've been here since, I heard some people, 2 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Looking for that good seat. But they're probably 25 deep now, lined up along Tremont Street. And we got to say, this crowd has been fantastic, waiting their turn to see these pass up close and personal. The weather does not seem to be uh, bothering these cats. They've obviously, since that Saturday game in, uh, against the Oakland Raiders in a very cold and snowy Foxborough, uh, they are used to it. These are just great pictures coming from all different vantage points, from Sky 4, from lockdown cameras. We have a pool camera that is following the, the head duck boat, and they are just coming along at a pretty leisurely pace, but this is exactly what these fans want. They do not want this thing to rush by. A lot of people playing hooky from school and from work. 
they're just going to take it all in. Here they come, Ted. Here they come. They're so close. And the crowd is just getting louder and louder. So excited. They're getting that shot of uh, Bob Kraft holding the Lombardi Trophy. Boy, he hasn't his hands could be frozen to that trophy at this point. But he's loving every minute of it. He's showing the fans of New England that uh, they're taking this all the way down to City Hall. I will never forget when uh, Adam Vinatieri made that field goal and we knew he won and Bob Kraft hugged his son. I mean, just the joy right there was just amazing. This is perfect for Boston in the Boston Duck Boats. Does it get any better than this? These people are in zero degree weather just enjoying their fans. There he goes, Bob Kraft, <laughs> holding up that shot. He's coming room right by us. Mr. Kraft waving with his wife, Myra. A couple of the other members of the Kraft family, they're here enjoying it. That Lombardi trophy doesn't come around too often. He's going to hold on to that. There's only 36 of them in the world. Bob Kraft is a proud owner. Here's a couple of the other family members of the New England Patriots and the coaching staff. Charney, Charney, the special teams coach who played such a key role in this New England Patriots season. This is the guy that's played under four or five head coaches, coach rather, and boy, he's really enjoying this as well. giving the thumbs up to the fans. This is what it's all about. There's the man of the hour, Tom Brady. Danny, if you can get a shot. There's Mr. Disney World himself. Tom Brady enjoying this. Waving with the rest of the crowd here. Camcorders because this is much of a moment obviously for them to take home as a fan. You know, a lot of these guys have been playing six, seven, in some cases, 10, 11 years. It's Mike Compton. He's played his entire career without a Super Bowl, and this is it. Now there's two veteran players, Otis Smith and Mike Compton finally getting their Super Bowl rings here in New England after spending many years in other parts of the country playing for other franchises. There's Pat the Patriot there as well, and the New England Patriots cheerleaders. Them all season, and obviously no one's going to want to miss today's activity. 
the few ambulances and following up because there have been some reports of hypothermia in the crowd that they've had to pluck a few people out because there is no call for the sheriff but boy the temperature just felt like it raised 50 degrees as these duck boats came by and just uh, the electricity and the energy just took over this moment This is what we can tell you. They are just heading up. They're heading to the top of Tremont Street now as they slowly make their way back towards City Hall Plaza where this thing will end in crescendo. Probably they should be on the platform, guys, I'd say in the next, oh, 10, 15 minutes. And if Joe, Lisa, and Bob LaBelle can hear us, we'll probably throw it back to you guys. It's a lot, Ted. The excitement, as you know, building down here. People know that this procession is moving much closer to City Hall Plaza right now. And most of the people in this crowd, in this crowd right next to us, have been here for hours, since early this morning, probably before the sun came up in many cases. Well, I sure hope that the parade gets here soon because City Hall Plaza is now in danger of sinking into Boston <laughs> Harbor. There are so many people on this plaza. There is really no room for people to move you literally need a shoehorn there are thousands of people in every direction you look red white and blue everybody is on rooftops they are in windows they have crowded all the way across congress street they have basically taken over downtown boston and we're now just waiting as far up as you can see there are people and the police down here now are actually asking people within the crowd not to move at all stay exactly where you are because the barricades are starting to come down they're having to push them back up it gives you some sense how many people are down here city hall plaza did sink into boston harbor people would just think it was another part of the big dick so what are we like <laughs> it'd be all part of the plan right although who would, who would know we're pretty lucky though from this standpoint because we can see the pictures that you're seeing right now of these 13 duck boats moving slowly through Boston with this huge crowd. A lot of the other people here in the crowd, of course, are waiting for their first look at this team and they know it's coming. One, uh, one good benefit, Lisa, I think is that the sun has moved, obviously, westward. Good going, Bob. That old, that old geometry class in high school, that physics class in high school really came through. This is Astronomy 101. The sun has obviously moved westward and has warmed up a great part of this crowd good for the sun and there's a larger crowd coming this way i guess uh, bob and lisa they say that people have now are falling in behind the duck boats and following the duck boats as they prepare to make the turn from tremont down to court and then the players and the owners and the managers will make their way uh, up on stage here it looks like that's what we're seeing right now but we should tell those folks get the word to them somehow <laughs> there's, there's no room here no room turn around here. go back stop watch it on your television because you're not going to be able to get into city hall plaza at this point you know you did want a big crowd here at city hall plaza and everybody was hoping for a nice turnout today uh, i think this has even overwhelmed uh, some of the, the the higher expectations at this point but there is a little bit of a concern not to rain on all the happiness that's going on today, but it is packed so tight down by the stage that when somebody moves, it creates a, dom a domino effect. And they've been warning the crowd, all right, everybody have a good time. Everybody take a breath. Everybody just hang in there. Because but don't move. Don't move. The Patriots will be here soon. We just asked one of the police officers who walked by us how things were going, though. And what did he say? It's fabulous. So that coming from the source there, I mean, they really do have an enormous crowd to control. And by all accounts, they're doing a great job. No, we have a wonderful vantage point here. I mean, you can basically see uh, the whole plaza, the whole downtown area here. And really, there has been no real police activity to speak of, other than the fact that they've been walking and, and scanning the crowd and, and making sure everybody's, uh, you know, safe and happy. There are a number of police checkpoints here, and this crowd has gathered. I mean, some of the tightest security uh, we've seen in Boston for any kind of an event of this kind or anything else. You're having to go through different checkpoints. There can be no backpacks, no large bags. And, and the Boston Police Commissioner, Paul Evans, was, said, was saying that, that this would be the largest presence of Boston police officers in recent memory. And look at the crowd. Look at them following the duck boats. Bob, where are we going to put them? They're out to win the back. <laughs> on the Congress Street side, right behind City Hall, and that's where the duck boats will park. So they'll walk in through the in through City Hall and exit out on the stage. So look at that helicopter shot! Isn't that something? You know, the other thing is that every Fourth of July on the Esplanade, the crowds gather, but nothing of this magnitude. No, I mean, it's a much wider area. I mean, you can there. There's a lot more space for people down here. It's finite. So unless 
they can see that jumbotron, it's just going to be spilling out block after block after block. I mean, they always fantasize th about this. Always fantasize about what would happen if the Red Sox ever won a World Series in our lifetime. And you know what? This would have been what it would have, what it would be. Could could that happen? And would that top this? I guess only time would tell. But I doubt it. I would really doubt it. I and I think that would. It would be great, but I think the it. first time is always the best time. Well, you know, when Mayor Menino came up with the idea of having a victory, a victory parade, I mean, do you think that he ever envisioned that this was what happened? I mean, it, we're, we were talking about a, a 30, 40 minute parade, not an all day event with quickly. more than a, a million people. Well, I also think when, without interjecting any uh, negative feeling, and this is not meant at all, there has always been a great deal of friction between Mayor Menino and Robert Kraft because of the original South Boston building of the stadium. These are two uh, people, a businessman and a politician, who have not seen eye to eye and who have openly uh, uh, talked about it. So this has been kind of, a, let's put down the tribal swords and get along for one day. So the Mayor Menino-Robert Kraft relationship has never always been, has not been a warm one. But I guess Menino and Kraft did get together down at the Super Bowl briefly to exchange pleasantries, which I guess was a step in the right direction. Now, if you look over on the front side of uh, City Hall, heading towards Spaniel Hall, you can see we're being told that the duck boats are beginning to arrive, and a lot of heads are turned that way, and you people are beginning people to wave. You can see people on those rooftops, exactly. They've clearly gotten their first look at the procession. The arms are going up, they're waving the banners and the t-shirts. There they go, okay. <laughs> okay. The crowd is erupting down there. <laughs> I'm worried about guys falling off those I, roofs. I thought the same thing. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is not far away. Now that they talk about a three-dog night, uh, I don't know, what is this, like a a ten-person three-day? or We've got about ten That's people right. in every tree as we, as we go along the streets here. People holding onto rooftops and holding onto satellite dishes. To see people in the branches of trees <laughs> next to City Hall Plaza is something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's not St. Patrick's Day, no. so it must be something else. <laughs> <laughs> they have a great vantage point, though. There's nothing in front of them and the stage. I kind of like the look, Lisa. Maybe it should be one of our original tourist attractions. <laughs> There's pay trees in Why don't you come to Boston and see the people in the trees? <laughs> That's where we grow them. The best fans are grown on trees. Now, because the, uh, of the of what was going on in City Hall Plaza here, and they had the Enchanted Village still up on the plaza, uh, when they had the uh, Celtic celebration back in 1986, the whole celebration faced out the other way towards Center Plaza. But because the Enchanted Village is now overlooking this Enchanted team, uh, the celebration has been swung around more towards the Faneuil Hall Market side. And they have uh, opened up an area where I believe that they will see the team members come in from there. This just has to be overwhelming for the Patriots. They left New Orleans. They got on that plane. They arrived at Foxborough last night to a crowd they probably weren't even expecting there. They were very gracious signing the autographs. They knew about the celebration today. But this is just block after block of fans, 30 and 40 people deep, coming as close to these duck boats as police will let them get. Seeing the players say thank you, although obviously we can't hear them, but, and the waves, I, I can't even imagine in their wildest dreams that it would look like this. There you get the rooftop shot. You're seeing what we're seeing down here now. That crowd has been growing probably for much of the last hour. Well, as Bob Lobel was talking about how, you know, when you get further away from the game, it even feels better and better. And, and you know, after the game, it was Vinatieri's kick. Uh, but, but since then, it, is, it has continued to grow into the, the homecoming last night at Foxborough Stadium. And, and Bob Kraft walking along that fence with the Vince Lombardi Trophy so people could touch it. And, and to this, this parade today, and the signs here, uh, it really has uh, taken on a life of its own and put together it very well, could be, and probably is, the greatest moment in New England sports history. You know what, why don't we just get a chance and re-rack that field goal by, called by Gil Santos so you get a chance. There's nothing wrong with seeing that right in the middle of this but i mean what's the famous most famous bar in boston cheers right that's what it's all about it's I, way ahead of its time i think the best thing about that field goal and gil santos call is if you listen to gil's voice he's almost 
you know, very controlled. Not going to get too excited here. Just going to call it. And then when it goes to the uprights, it's like he almost fell out of the press box. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do a split screen. I don't want to direct the show, but why don't you put it on a split screen? Look at that. That's what I said. I'm a born director. And I love the Snow Angels, too. Just the nod to the Oakland game. <laughs> what a moment that was. And to be here in Boston, Bob, I know you were in New Orleans, but to be here and to hear the honking in the street immediately after that pitch was good and called. That's when the unification started. Everybody had to replay that. I was talking over the play-by-play. -play. Uh, we'll get a chance to re-rack that. Let's go to Ron Sanders in the crowd. Ron. Bob, there are Patriots fans here of all stripes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> here are some with Patriot stripes. Tell us where you're from. Uh, from just right down in downtown in Boston, in Back Bay. How did you get through the crowd? Uh, we were here pretty early this morning and uh, just sort of slowly worked our way up. Can you believe this is happening? Oh, it's unbelievable. I, I never thought I'd see it, to be honest. All my life I've been waiting for this, and this is just 36 years. Amazing. Wow. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm, call I'm from New Hampshire, so this is a long trip for me. I actually go to D.C., so I came out to his place last night, and we got up really early this morning to the paint, and we've been out here all day, so it's been a trip. The fans have been great out here, and it's been an amazing experience. Tell me where you're from. You folks have been here since early this morning. Six o'clock this morning from Cushman, Massachusetts. What's your name? Sandy. Sandy and Brian. Or Sandy and Brian, how long have you been Patriots fans? Forever? 15 years. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd see a moment like this or be a part of it? We've been waiting a long time, and this has been a great season right from the beginning right to the end. Some of the promotional posters that have been passed out around City Hall Plaza say we believed past tense. You still believe, don't you? We believe. Yes, we, we will never stop believing in New England. Number one! <laughs> we believe we are ready for the Patriots to arrive to strengthen our belief and to have us strengthen theirs because we want to be here next year, don't we? We do, yes! Repeat! Repeat! Number one! Bob and uh, Lisa and Joe, we've been looking for telltale signs of the team's arrival from time to time. We watch people on the rooftops around here. We look at the helicopters, and it's torture, but it's sweet torture. We'll be here next year. Yeah. <laughs> Live from the middle of the crowd, it's Ron Sanders. Back to you folks. Hi, Ronnie. Sports Illustrated has come out with their cover, and... As we understand it, there it is, Patriots Day. Picture of, I think that's Willie McGinnis on Kurt Warner. Yeah. Pa Patriots Day from SI. There'll be no jinx this week. <laughs> no SI Nothing jinx. Nothing can happen. Listen, as I said before, get that field goal re-racked, and then I'll just shut up and let Gil make the call. And, you go Ash ahead. Mark angle to the left for Adam Vinatieri. 48-yard field goal attempt. Set to go. Snap. Ball down. Kick up. Kick is on the way. And it is good! It's good! It's good! Adam Vinatieri booms a 48-yard field goal. And the game is over. And the Patriots are Super Bowl champions. The Patriots are Super Bowl champions. The best team in the National Football League. <laughs> going to be happening in regulation or overtime. Adam Vinatieri with a field goal was going to do it. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. 14-point underdog. But what a great move they made with that last series to get the ball in field goal position. And who makes the big play? Troy Brown. Troy Brown. And absolutely. excellent quarterbacking by second-year man Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Gino. He got the ball in the oh. right the third time is the charm in the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. Adam Vinatieri boomed it through from 48 yards. The Ram fans are stunned. The Patriot fans are in jubilation. Perfect kick. Perfect kick. Hit it. I mean, Gil, that was right down the... That was the uh, greatest call by the great announcer, Gil Santos, for the New England Patriots on 
WBCN, our sister station. And when you're a great football announcer, you live for moments like that. You fantasize about moments like that. You fantasize about the opportunities. And you fantasize about doing it right. And I'll tell you this, Gil nailed it. He nailed it about as good as anybody could nail it. And I'm really proud of him. And not only am I proud of him, I'm more happy for him than anything because those are the things you, as an announcer, you dream about. It's also the player you dream about, Joe. And Gil Santos is just, you know, he's a wonderful guy. I had a chance to work very closely with him over the years on the morning show on Channel 4. And he's actually going to be emceeing up here on the stage in a matter of moments. Apparently, we're going to hear from Mayor Menino. Then we're going to hear from Gil Santos, uh, who will actually uh, take us through and introduce Bob Kraft, uh, Bill Belichick. And we still don't know what players are going to speak, but you can be sure that none of them will leave that stage without speaking because this crowd won't let them. This crowd wants to hear from the players. We should mention, too, Gino Capaletti will be up there with Gil, the voices of WBC and the Patriots. Oh, and they're the, here. The cheering the you hear are the duck boats arriving on City Hall Plaza on this February 5th, 2000. Well, you can see the, the lead, uh, the front end of the lead duck boat yep. right from where we are, right behind that bus. Duck boat's a big attraction in Boston, but never more so than today. Well, maybe we should schedule a parade, huh? <laughs> Didn't you hear him talking about that a couple of weeks? Maybe we should schedule a parade. Yeah, we ought to at least think yeah. about that. Wow. Just so impressive. Oh, yeah. and such a good feeling and such a quiet crowd. You know, I think when they get here, the crowd's going to say it all. We've been saving it up. You oh, can yeah. look, if you look further off now, back towards Tremont Street, you can see the people that have been following the duck boats oh, flowing right. in now. And the crowd is, is even growing in size around... Boston City Hall Plaza. Hard to imagine you could fit any more people in here, but you're right, Joe. They are walking in on that side. More of them obviously gathering in the street. We see pom-poms and signs, American flags, people decked out in red, white, and blue. Everybody's got their red, white, and blue on today, and the American flag... So, there he is, there's Bob Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots, coming around the corner with the Vince Lombardi trophy, holding it over the top of his head. I don't know quite what our vantage point is with the camera. Yep, you've got it. He's going to make his way through the crowd, and probably just like last night, let people slap it or touch it as he gets up onto this stage. Let's listen to this crowd. Everybody. He's waiting for the rest of the team before he does it. You see uh, some of the kids up there on stage actually dancing around with some of the music and the confetti blowing in the foreground. <laughs>
Acting Governor Jane Swift is on stage up there. We're told that the Swift won't be speaking, but is going to be here for a brief visit. That's right, there was what, Michelob and... Oh, that's St. Louis pizza we've heard oh, so much Saint about. Oh, that's St. Louis pizza, can't wait. No, no, they send us the arch, we send them the big deal. Yeah. You know, in another demonstration of team unity, they are they are waiting for the entire team before they start anything here. Obviously, it's, it's, it's hard for all the players to get up. And you can see, perhaps, at least a few of the players are running along the fans and high-fiving them as, as they walk in. An army of Boston police officers now coming around the corner down here. You can see them flowing in. Stage is uh, Mayor Menino and team owner Bob Kraft standing together. Jonathan Kraft, Bob's oldest son, is there. Well, just the uh, just the security that was involved uh, for today's event is is staggering to even think about. Uh, an army of Boston police officers uh, have now uh, lined the route uh, towards the stage there. by the uh, mayor's press office uh, that uh, Kennedy and Kerry might also be in attendance uh, today, Senators Kennedy and Senator Kerry, but I don't see them on stage. Uh, Kerry's up there. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, Kerry's up there. He's got a hat on. Three oh, signs. there, yeah, there Three he is. Signs is still in there picture. you go. I see him now in the, the Patriots hat. He was laughing. He was telling us that we score the game there, but all the Today. Ron Sanders is uh, out there in the crowd. Ron, how are you holding up? Are you kidding me? This is one of the best times I've ever had in this city. I've walked back and forth to work across the City Hall Plaza and never imagined I'd see anything like this, let alone be part of it. There is a sea of red, white, and blue to welcome the Patriots as a team onto this stage. And when the red, white, and blue confetti started raining across the platform, everybody here got together 
and celebrated as a team of fans. I can't see them, but I'm told that the cheerleaders are approaching the stage. I can see the pom-poms now. Earlier, Joe, you were saying that Senators Kerry and Kennedy might be expected. I can see Senator Kerry among the dignitaries on the stage, along with Acting Governor Swift, Mayor Menino, and Bob Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots, and here are their cheerleaders. Cornell defensive coordinator. So the uh, the lead duck boat has been unloaded. And those members of the team have assembled on the stage. The others are soon to follow. Bill Belichick, a man of very few words, very soft spoken, standing there up on the stage, taking this in. He's only been uh, coach for two years, Bob. First year, 5-11. And, and this year, Super Bowl champion. which seemed excessive at the time. And then they got off to that five-win start last year, and they were 0-2 this year. They were 1-3, and things were looking pretty bleak, and then all of a sudden, it just happened. Just one week after another. And then there was Brady this, and not that he won games. He just didn't lose them, and the team came through. Defensively, they, they gelled as a defense. And then they became rock solid. They gave up an average of 13 or 14 points a game over the last 12 games of the season, which is remarkable in the National Football League. The last game they lost, November 18th, to the St. Louis Rams in Foxborough. And that's a game they possibly could have won. So this is a team that continued to grow, continued to mature, continued to gain confidence, continued to believe in themselves. And you know what? The phrase, anything's possible, hello, hello, has hello. been proven here today. Anything's possible. And we're proven.
It's rather ironic that the team of the Patriots is from St. Louis. Because it wasn't all that long ago that people were talking about the Patriots being sold and moved to St. Louis. Well, that didn't happen. That didn't happen because of one man, a New Englander like us. He bought the team, he made sure they stayed here, and now I want to present to you the president of the New England Patriots, Robert Kraft. training camp. It's been over six months, and uh, uh, at that time, real early in training camp, I showed our team, uh, we saw a film on uh, Shackleton's voyage to Antarctica. Doesn't feel quite that cold today, but uh, it, it's been a long voyage and a long journey, and we took the last step of the way Sunday night, and I feel like our journey's complete now, this year.
but before I turn this over to our captain, from whom we've gotten tremendous leadership all year, I'll just tell you that uh, at, at 12 o'clock uh, on game day, before he we went to the Superdome, the last time I really met coaches, and I told him at that time that if, if we just followed the game plan and played our game and played Patriot football, that this would be our time. And right now, right now for these players, it's our time. They did it. Congratulations, champion.
the pass to Jermaine Wiggins. And now there's seven seconds left. We're in a tie game. Got to win it. So we bring on a kicker. So I bring on a kicker to bring on the kicker. Gina, who do we bring on the field next? You know they say it takes one to no one. And one thing I know, he's the best kicker the Patriots ever had. And he's the best kicker in the National Football League, Adam Vinatieri. Thank you, thank you very much. I tell you what, this is unbelievable. There's just a... <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, I tell you what, we're cheering for all the Patriots because everybody's awesome out here. I, yeah, I cut the playoff beard off, yeah, you know what, there's not much more to say. We're the champions, basically. But I got a little story. I'll make it short and sweet. I really can't top the guys that were just up here dancing, but the beginning of the season, we started off a little slow. Some of the reporters didn't think we had much of a chance, and we kind of adopted a little motto. And basically the reporters would say something, and if they didn't believe in us, we'd just say, don't talk to me. And as the season went along, some of the people said, yeah, they're doing a little bit better, but I don't think they got what it takes, and all we said is, that's right. Well, I tell you what, we got, kept going, we kept going, we went some more games. The Oakland Raiders came into us, and a lot of people didn't think we could win, but what? That's right. We got to Pittsburgh, and we were nine and a half point underdogs. They were already pitting the Super Bowl tickets, and what did we say? We go down to New Orleans, and ain't anybody give us a chance? Nobody. And what did we say to them? Hey, we're world champions. That's going to wrap it up. One more big round of applause for your world champions, the New England Patriots. They believe in themselves. You believe in them. They're the champ. Nobody can ever, ever take it away. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There. What a great feeling it leaves you with. Bob Kraft up on that stage dancing around. I've the never seen him <laughs> dance quite like that before. Doing the shuffle on the stage. I was a little disappointed we didn't get to hear from Brady. I was expecting perhaps we could hear from Tom Brady, but... Well, I think it was the dance. I think they just had fun. I, don't, I think they all wanted to have a good time, and I would say this. I think Brady is the kind of guy that uh, is one of those guys that avoids the spotlight, is a little shy. And has had the spotlight on him. Has spotlight on him, and uh, he always seems to say the right thing and do the right thing, and actually, while you might be disappointed you didn't hear from him, I think he did the right thing. I think he let, he knows he's here as a Super Bowl champion because of the people around him, and he let the people around him do the talking. He did his talking on the field, and I also think there's one other little dynamic that you have to consider that we talked about earlier. Uh, Drew Bledsoe was not here, and we talked about that earlier. And uh, I'm not surprised, I'm not disappointed. It's his own personal choice, I think. Uh, well, I think he would have been very uncomfortable, and I also think Brady, out of respect for his friend Drew, probably thought, let, let me not say anything. Let the other guys talk, and we'll just leave it at that. We won the Super Bowl. Maybe we'll come back and have a chance to do it again next year. But I think the right things 
we're done and all the right people said what they needed to say. This is terrific too. If you're watching this, you're seeing the players who right now could be getting on the buses, staying here with the fans. Some of them earlier were dancing on the stage, but you see them autographing footballs and posters, just about anything, any of the fans can get to them right now. And have you noticed how much warmer it's gotten here? <laughs> it's, the temperature is what, 25, 30 degrees warmer? It's warmed right up the minute that team showed up. Who, who was it, Bob, who said that they, you know, would like to do this again next year? That was Troy Brown. Brown. Troy Brown, let's do it again next year. Well, I think he was just echoing the sentiments of every one of the that million people that turned out for this event today. Right now, we want to go down into that crowd, and Ron Sanders, who saw it all at eye level. Ron? Yes, I'm here. I'm here with a couple of sailors from the USS Constitution, Chris, Chris Nelson and Sean Kelleher, both from Massachusetts. And just a short time ago, against all odds, just like the New England Patriots, you did something very special. Tell us what it was. I got to present our flag from the USS Constitution and a certificate. I got it up to the stage, and I handed it to one of the players. And I got to touch the Super Bowl trophy. Woo! That flag flew on Old Ironside, the oldest commissioned warship in the United States this morning, correct? Yes, it did. Now, Sean, you and I have special knowledge because last week we talked about the fact that this was going to happen. Yes, you, we did. You had complete confidence. Yes, I did. Why is that? I'm a true fan to heart. Patriots, this was our year. Very good. Thanks a million. Thank you. Another, uh, can you can you stay by can you stay by for just a minute let's talk to a couple of the fans who have been waiting here since five o'clock this morning unbelievable this is what, did you, what did you think about what you saw i just thought it was, they deserved it it was unbelievable i mean uh, we waited a long time for this finally came you know, a lot a lot of us have treasures in our house that we put on the dresser and the mantle where will this moment stay with you oh god it, uh, it's hard to say it's hard to say but it's gonna stick with my camera stick with my camera forever i know that it's gonna be great stick with me for a little bit will you will you stay around there, there are several people who have, have been way back in the crowd who got to see the New England Patriots. Tell me what you thought about the moment. Oh, man, it was great, man. I can't wait till next year. Where are you from? I'm from Alden. What's Alden. your name? Yeah, Brian Arrington. Brian. Yep. Whoa. What was your favorite my moment favorite, during favorite. this event? It's when, uh, when uh, Troy Brown was up there and he had the crowd going. And then when Ty Law intercepted the ball and ran it back, did the touchdown there. That was my second favorite, definitely. I like that. Did you always believe this could happen or did you have some doubt? Well, actually, after the uh, third game, I definitely thought they could start winning. And, I mean, once that happened, I mean, it was great when Tom Brady came in. Once he came in, I knew it was all over. Thanks a million. What did, what did you get? Brady and Vinatieri. Yeah! Hey, stick with me for a second. Show this thing to me. I'm not going to let anybody take it from you. Hold on. Hold on. Fellas, hold on for a minute. We, we want to be able to see this hat. Tell me what happened. I rocked right up there and they signed it. Hold it up. Hold it up high. Yeah! Yeah! Tell us, tell us what happened. Tell us what happened when you took the hat over. I gave it to him and he signed it for me. It was awesome. Number one. Yeah! Yeah! How much does that mean to you? What's that? How much does it mean to you to have that hat? More than you know. All right. There you have it. Catimonium, as we call it. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks so much. Joe, Lisa, Bob, this is Patriots Nation. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, Bob and Lisa, there was a first on that stage. There was a was a first on that stage, and it, and it was this. We had the acting governor, we had the U.S. Senator John Kerry, and we had Mayor Menino, and none of them spoke. I mean, not one that, of those not one of those politicians said anything. spoke to each other. <laughs> No, they probably talked to each other, but no one addressed the crowd. Nobody. It was all about the team. It was all about the team. Ownership, the coach. I harken back into what we said. There's always been a lot of tension between Mayor Menino and Robert Kraft. And I, I do think this was kind of a, a thaw in that the city put on such a great parade and such a great event for the Patriots. So hopefully that relationship will uh, will continue to grow. But at, at one point, it wasn't such a great relationship. But that's... 
Oh, that's what winning will do for you. That you know? is one of the funniest signs I think I have ever seen. Our producer, Bob Dumas, pointed it out when we got here. That woman has been in the crowd since very early this morning. What does it say? Marry me, Tom Brady. Marry me, Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> She's not shy. She's not shy. Or should we call him Tommy Brady? Tommy Brady, if you're uh, one of his neighbors from San Mateo. Well, thanks for being with us today, everybody. It was a great pleasure covering this team. It was a great pleasure covering this celebration. And it was a super celebration. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the championship.